Hey, Mike Callahan with uh, Callahan's Corner, where you ask the questions, we answer them live here on Facebook. So one of the big reoccurring issues that we see in all the service businesses, well, at least most of the service businesses we've been dealing with lately, is that um, there is a massive accountability issue, especially going into the second half or later part of the season, for getting the crews to do what they should be doing on a daily basis in their mobiles, um, in the CRM or the software that you're using. So uh, if the software you're using has the ability to clock in and out of drive time and clock in and out of each job, what we're finding is the crews are not being held accountable on a daily basis for putting this essential data in the software. And why it's essential to have the start and stop times for drive time and each job you do is uh, a threefold situation. So we want to be able to go out and um, know our drive time, our non-billable cost effect based on labor with labor burden. We also really want to know um, the if we're hitting our hourly goals, so if we're making money on all the jobs. And without good data in, uh, the business is really blind. Um, it's kind of like driving in fog. You don't know what's ahead of you. Uh, you. You know you're on the road, but you don't know uh, what the next turn may take. So really, really important that we need to hold those crews accountable for clocking in to non-billable drive time and things like shop time and having accurate start and stop times. And if they don't remember to clock in the mobile, that they're telling the office or someone um, to update those dispatch boards or close out day screens if using service autopilot. Next thing is that the office needs to be held accountable, whether it's you in the office or virtual assistant or just a regular uh, office person is that we need to have someone go through the closeout day screen in Service Autopilot or the equivalent in other softwares to double check we have accurate start and stop time. So the crew's not logging in and out of a job under a minute. Like they got the job done and then um, realized they had to go to the next stop so they clock in and out under a minute. So this is the last point a human can touch uh, before job costing, production reports, and uh, billing. So if you're using a product like Service Autopilot, that's going to trigger an automatic invoice every day, every week, every month. So one of the biggest issues right now is how do we hold those folks accountable? And what I'm going to recommend that you do is at least for the next two to three weeks, if this is an issue in your business, walk down to the shop with an old-fashioned clipboard and print out those closeout day screen reports and highlight all the jobs that have inaccurate times and missing times and force the crews to give it to you. Obviously, if you have GPS, you want to double check it. But we're going to hold accountability every morning or the following evening when they come in. Someone's intaking those sheets uh, physically in the office. We want to make sure that's good data. And then the next morning of that following or that night, someone in the office should be checking that. And it's a quick two to three minute look through to make sure we've got good start and stop times, a budgeted time, and believe it or not, a price. You wouldn't believe how many um, accounts I've been in in the last two to three months where people are not charging out a dollar amount uh, by mistake. So this workflow process will allow you to avoid those mistakes. So I'm going to recommend on a daily basis, we're checking with the crews every morning from the previous day for accountability. That's going to take two to three weeks, um, and we're going to be sticklers about it and make them, before they pull out of the shop, give you those times to the best of their knowledge. And if they skip a job and they don't have a reason why with notes, send them back to that job if it needs to be done. And then your office at the end of every day or the beginning of the next day for the previous day needs to be uh, running those those uh, a quick closeout day screen check. Now, the next thing is, and probably one of the more important things that we realized at my lawn care company when we started to institute this is what we need to do is have a weekly uh, Monday huddle. And most offices, it's going to be probably impossible to have the office admin, especially if it's a VA, present with the crew leaders. So we have a Monday huddle with the crew leaders to go over previous um, budget versus actual and how well they track the data. And we have a Monday huddle with your virtual assistant or your office assistant, um, either it's virtual or in person standing quick five to 10 minute, minute meeting. But what the point is that the office administrator is reporting out to you on the top three things um, that's there. And it's the actual versus budgeted. We have budgeted time and prices. That's one of the big three. The other two uh, are probably up to you, whether it's driving that quarterly or yearly goal um, tying into that BHAG, that big, hairy, audacious goal that you're 10 to 15 year goal. So um, accountability in the field and the office is essential because without good data or no data, 
um, you're running blind. But if you have good data in and good data out, then you can go into a reporting center um, and have a really good idea what's going on in your business and the fine-tuning things that you made to make happen on a day-to-day basis or week-to-week basis. In addition, it's going to create accountability uh, with those crews with hopefully a quality standard as well. Um, And that's one of the things we fell short in. So when we do the production rate incentive, we need a quality standard tied into it. So comments, questions, drop below. Callahan's Corner, you ask the questions, we answer them live right here on Facebook.